What's up, everybody, and welcome to This Week in Gaming, where we talk about the latest news, topics, and whatever we bloody well like. Welcome to Always Games TV. I am your host for this live stream slash video, depending if you're watching it live or later on our YouTube channel. But of course, I am not on my own. I am joined by Ed from Gamehog. Greetings, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. You join me at the ripe old age of 26 this time. It was my birthday yesterday, so now I'm considerably older. I also return with potentially a new house to live in, so things are going well for me. But hang on, it's not just Roger and I here. Please welcome to the show, as usual, it's Luke of Luke and James Play! <laughs> Hi, everyone! How's it going? Hi everybody! It's me, Luke from Luke and James Play. James isn't with me as always, because we don't actually live together, we're not partners, um, we're not married. What? Contra contrary to popular belief, yeah, it's true. Sorry, I'm dropping a... I thought that was part of the whole illusion. <laughs> no, that you two were yep. this lovely gay couple. Okay, fine. To we actually honest, started though, a... I, I've channel, never yeah. seen you both in the same room, so... I well, <laughs> I've got footage of them. <laughs> I'm, slowly, I'm trying editing. to convince, I'm That's trying to convince true. Jim that I don't exist and it's all in his mind. But, oh, uh, don't do that <laughs> to the pot. I mean, that's a dark path to go down. Because then I have to play along. Yeah, you're not real either. <laughs> Who's Luke? This is. <laughs> I only know <laughs> James plays. <laughs> the channel just says James plays when he looks at it like. <laughs> Like that. So apologies, uh, uh, but we may have a couple of issues during the live stream uh, because my internet, for some reason, is just... Uh, it, I, I don't know. Yeah. It's just... Uh, it's just... Uh, I mean, that's how, you know what, I described it exactly the same to you guys earlier. It's just... Uh, Yorkshire is a pain in the ass for internet. But anyway, welcome to the show. Uh, like I said, we talk about the latest news, topics, and whatever we bloody well like within the video games industry. Uh, but coming up on today's show, we're going to be discussing Apex Legends, which was released last week, as well as Division 2's beta that was live, well, the closed beta was live over the weekend. But before we get into that, guys, what have you been up to over since we last... Are you okay? Ed was just freestyle dancing. I don't man. know what happened. I just panicked. I was like, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Actually, That's well, before beautiful. we go any further, um, I haven't introduced Tom, who is playing Apex Legends in the background. Say hello, Tom. It's a thumb. Hello. Tom's it's Tom Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb. <laughs> there is another. There is more to his thumb, by the way, because every, every time he, he does run the show. There is more to his thumb. There is more. To, there's more. There's more. More to this thumb here. meets the eye. Yar. Yar. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, so, Ed, what have you been up to since we last saw you, man? Uh, aside from aging, not an awful lot. I've been working quite a lot because I've upped my days, uh, but I've been trying to squeeze in more time on Kingdom Hearts 3, and I've been playing a little bit of War Groove that for some reason I keep calling War Gravy. I don't know why. More gravy, just, please. War... <laughs> I like. I might make a game called War Gravy, just because gravy. no one else has made a game called War Gravy. Gravy boat full of gravy and also and i might make HP. that my my stage name or i might give that to uh, ace trainer liam who's currently looking to rebrand is he yeah he doesn't like that he's tied into pokemon with ace trainer so he's trying to find uh, something that could be more all-encompassing but he doesn't know what to go with but i've, I've not liam. really been up to an awful lot well that was the thing i <laughs> said liam, liam but liam's t he needs something that's free on twitch mm -hmm. that's free on youtube that's free on instagram mm. that's free on twitter that's free on facebook that is Angle. the hardest thing. You've got to just keep putting it into Google as well and just seeing what comes up when you type it in. And yeah. That's the thing. As I said, why don't you try being Liam, like L-E-E-Y-U-M, but that's a bit camp. Like, you imagine that Especially being the screen name of an LGBT Twitch account called Liam, mm. but being a bit more flamboyant about it. So yeah. what I said to him, and he was like, yeah, you're right. In fact, I think I've seen this before. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, I've not really done a lot. What about you guys? What have y'all been up to? Go on, up. Luke, Luke's drinking, so I'll go. Um, <laughs> you're going mid-swig. Uh, well, I, uh, I've been down to London. Uh, over, I left on Thursday, came back on Saturday. Um, oh, it consisted a lot of drinking and pretending to be professional. And it was good fun. Yeah, it was uh, very tiring. Went to a conference, basically just uh, plugged uh, live streaming to people who didn't understand live streaming which was oh. which is always a very hard conversation but agony but mm. how many people were 
so positive about it as well which was which was mm. good so like and uh, i've been doing live streaming for like I, I do live streaming for like a few gambling companies and things like that i've been doing also my previous company that i worked for was a gambling company as well and we used to have a series called roger plays and it was quite funny we went to a, a an award ceremony on friday night and i got recognized which was like the most <laughs> weirdest thing someone walked over wow. and went roger and i was like yeah, the thing is i'm really bad with names oh uh, you did, did you hi yeah, how are you doing hi, haven't seen you ages. Right. no we've never met yeah. uh. and it was like um i don't know if you remember me but we spoke uh over skype and i was like uh-huh and he went you're <laughs> roger plays aren't you and i was like yes and he said, I said oh i'm anthony i was like oh anthony like that and then obviously <laughs> the penny dropped then i was like i've never met the guy face to face but we'd spoken over skype I like the dick move of keeping the information away from you as long as possible. <laughs> hey! Well, to be honest, it, it could have been about two Remember? seconds, but for me, this in my guy. head... Oh, it was it an was hour. Like, yeah. oh, like, you know when you're going through, like, names and faces in your head, like cards, like, nope, nope. Oh, you're nope. not present in that moment at all. Mm. Your brain is turned off, and it's like a TARDIS in there, of, yep. like, going through every repository Pulling of, files like, going, shit, faces, shit, 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 shit. conversations, mm -hmm. acquaintances. Ah, it's not yeah, in here. That's Comic-Con. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, every time when someone it's sometimes people forget that we don't know who they are because yeah. like we'll talk to them and also their name isn't their name so when you go what's your name they go dave <laughs> no what's your what's your screen name oh <laughs> it's death phoenix 998 oh you're death phoenix 998 well i didn't recognize you because i've never seen your face <laughs> but so, they sometimes think that thanks, they've met thanks us thanks for yeah. making this conversation slightly awkward though the, the worst <laughs> one is when you've met someone are you meeting someone you've arranged to have a meeting with somebody and you go i have no clue out of all these hundreds of people who that person is because i've never mm. seen them so you go on linkedin and a picture of linkedin is of like a tree oh and you're like <laughs> not helping Come on, man. <laughs> it's not facebook <laughs> it's a professional <laughs> social platform um but no so i'll oh, just we've had a first comment on facebook by michael freeman saying yo what's up guys hello welcome what's to up michael facebook. freeman Green. hey yo freemeister hey, what yo. happened we don't get any comments <laughs> on uh, facebook so do you know michael freeman no, no. <laughs> <laughs> i was thinking he may be a hang on i'll just check back here and hey, michael freeman michael no <laughs> here hello <laughs> sorry um so yes no it was really good fun um but yeah it was really straight it was like oh roger for roger players i was like wow that's quite cool um but i had a really good chat with him and he like we'd, we'd sort of spoken previously before like about a year ago like for, for a couple of hours trying to set up a live stream for uh, a bingo online bingo site and uh he was only but he'd been out of the business for nearly 12 months and just come back into it working for somebody else and it was just it was just so it was so nice because it, it basically it blew, did blow smoke up my ass but it was really nice to hear someone so encouraging and like you it was just who gets live streaming he said like cause he like he's, he's watched he's actually watched this show he's uh watched like what we did on club it so he's actually been keeping track oh, nice. of us on twitter and stuff like that he's he just, quite the fan. yeah and it was really really nice and like he doesn't really speak to me like like i think he spoke to me once on twitter so he's not very vocal but he's been there watching it and he's like he says half the time guys i have no idea what the hell you're on about <laughs> but he says it's highly you think we know <laughs> <laughs> like, we neither, yeah we don't either um we don't have a clue but uh so no that was really good fun I, it took, it's taken me up till like yesterday to fully recover um but no it was really really good fun i was like i said i was hoping to meet up with you guys when i was down there but times days and everything like that and yeah it, it, it almost always never works out like that you know because we are blowouts as we have been branded by mr templar sorry <laughs> again for that your, your words not mine do you guys want to hear this fellow listeners of always games tv luke and james play didn't turn up to my birthday party we are they failed the morning of so let's sit here in a moment of silence. contemplative silence as we see oh if i turn i can like look directly at james like uh, uh wait how which way do i have to look i have uh, to look this way yeah, and just uh, sh i will take my punishment <laughs> the weight the weight I think, well, that, was, that was really good if you listen to the podcast version no it hasn't stopped um yeah sorry just... ignore that yeah <laughs> That was just pure hatred being fired towards. 
across, <laughs> across the internet. Um, like lashings of a whip. Luke, what have you been up to then since we last saw you on Monday? Um, just <laughs> avoiding Ed for the whole weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that, <laughs> uh, honest, we we really didn't do a lot. Like um, Saturday, I was started to work, and then did some stuff with uh, the family, and then on Sunday, Jim and I joined forces because uh, he he needed a, a friend that day. So um, yeah, obviously we didn't go. He to could have had he could have had several friends if he if he came over to my birthday party <laughs> that I invited you guys to that Shit. you didn't come to that day. Shit. Yeah, I'm but just, that day. But there's other days. I'm just saying that you didn't you didn't come to my birthday. Hang on, let me get some of these knives out. I might <laughs> never let you live this down. <clears throat> I, d I hope you don't. I hope you don't. <laughs> I want to be punished for my entire life. Okay, have you been, um, mm. so what, you've been playing a little bit? So we haven't really done anything. Have you been playing a little bit of Apex Legends, though, haven't you? Oh, yeah, I mean, gaming. We've been gaming. Yeah. gaming. We managed to, get a game, game. managed to get a game in Mr. Templar, actually. Oh, yeah, you... I played a couple of rounds. Uh, I, I'm hoping to get some more time in. I still have it. Basically, my problem was, uh, I guess we're getting into our opinions yeah, of Apex. Yeah, first topic um, of the show is Apex Legends. Go, Ed, keep going. I keep calling it Apex Predators for some reason. Uh, but Apex Legends, it's it's a very fun Battle Royale game. For those of you who maybe don't know what Battle Royale is, the very famous Fortnite is very much one. It's basically a 100-person deathmatch, and it's last person standing. This game feels and looks very similar to Blackout mixed with some kind of... It's kind of a mixture between Overwatch slash Rainbow Six Siege abilities yeah. for heroes. And it plays pretty well. Like, it plays like a Call of Duty, to be honest, more than anything. Well, it's it, made by those people, basically. Oh, is it? Is well, it Infinity yes, War? the original people who no, were Call of yeah. Duty uh, Modern Warfare... Uh, left Activision to create Respawn, which then went on to create Titanfall, which is the same company have made. Uh, which made this. Oh, I didn't realize it was by the Titanfall people. I actually don't know an awful lot about this game. It's just the game that I saw everyone else playing, and then everyone in the game hog community goes, "Who's playing Apex? Ed, are you going to play Apex?" And I go, "I don't know what that is." <laughs> yes, because it's then only I, then I get introduced to it. Squad based currently, isn't it? So it, it, there's no solos, and no du duos. It's purely squad based. Three, three man teams currently. Three, three which three is slightly man. awesome. Oh, sorry, three man. I'm used to playing with three friends. Rather oh, than that explains it because I was I saw in the Discord channel that Gibran was saying um, I need a third, we need a third, and I was like, yeah, I that's a very specific fall. number to be having. Yeah, you need a fall. third. Like, and don't, you mean, don't, you, don't you want a third and a fourth? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that explains yeah. that then. Okay. Yeah, three three guys only currently. So, um, Luke, how are you finding? Because obviously you played quite a bit of the old battle royale. Um, you've been play recently playing a lot of rings. So how's what what are you feeling at the moment with playing Apex and Rings? Which one you're leaning towards? Um, I've been, I'm more with Apex. Okay. Um, for me, it is a game I can play and I can play fairly well, which is quite surprising. I'm really bad at these games usually because of my keyboard and mouse skills are just not there. Mm -hmm. So I've been, I've been try harding it with it. Um for a while and it managed to and i managed i think what what was part of me getting that sort of initial first enjoyment out of it which i don't think ed managed to get really was that i got a few wins really early on yeah, um, whereas i just kept and, dying yeah and we had a quite poor experience actually ed we was having a bad a bad time that one yeah. but um in since then i've i've even played the game with a controller right and been doing fantastically well i'm really surprised that's a dope controller, by the way. Yeah, that is really, really cool. Like... Look. Ooh. Oh, that's uh, dope. It like just gets better and better. And does the intensity. Mate, that's <laughs> sick. <laughs> Which is why I want to use it, right? <laughs> Look at this mouse. No, like... <laughs> it's, oh, that's the so, same one I've got that like has a small amount of lighting on it. Yeah, so. terrible, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, I've and uh, either way, I've been playing quite well with both. So, I've been practicing my aim with the keyboard and mouse. But then, wow. What the fuck? Is that a telephone? <laughs> That's my mouse. What do you need 12 <laughs> side buttons for? Um, when I'm editing, I don't touch a keyboard. Oh, so wow, I have nice. those all mapped. So, Shortcuts, yeah. Yeah. So there's like three, like five buttons, six buttons on top, and then you've got all those on the side. Basically, it's, it's actually from uh, playing MMOs. So you can yeah, rebind everything. Really but I actually, I find it the, one of the best uh, 
mice mouse to use when um editing. meese meese one of the best meese to use <laughs> just the meese sorry i broke you off carry on uh you were playing with yeah the so yeah so like part of why i think i really like it is because i've managed to do fairly well in the game and i think that affects your view of the game um and the the, the legends and stuff kind of give you a your own little identity in the game it makes you feel like that's your character which is strange because obviously there's other people running around as it anyway but um, it's also nice that you can't pick the same character like three times in your in your squad you. yeah so and it, also that's quite a fun little selection process and then it gives yeah. priority to whoever's the third player is the drop master um i think it's random oh okay but you get a little symbol by your name when you know when you, when you're the drop master, so you can see when through that selection stage. Sorry, just, but uh, people don't have to. What's the drop master? Could you? Explain? Oh, so so unlike conventional games where everyone just bails out one by one, mm -hmm. um, uh, you can you have to jump out as a three. So one person is selected as jump master. They choose where they go. People can suggest because it's got a really good contextual ping system mm -hmm. in the game. Contextual <laughs> but, um, ping yeah. system. Yeah. So you're everyone you're getting into the industry now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> so and yeah, so you jump as a three. You can choose to jump um, on your own if you want, but the game like really focuses on the dynamic of the three. Mm -hmm. So what you find a lot in Apex is you always come up against threes. You you very rarely come up against one guy on his own or two guys, unless someone's flanking or whatever. So there's always like this. So they've really um, focused the game to be for this sort of team dynamic, which is why you have you can't pick the same people to be in a group because you that's you've very got like Call of Duty style, then too. Yeah, like you've a, got yeah. Yes, there's one there's one combat medic who can heal, but they have a passive where if someone goes down, they revive. When they're reviving, a shield comes up and you revive twenty five percent faster. So that person's like, it needs to be in every squad really, because <laughs> that's just. Um, incredibly useful and then obviously people sort of pepper in people with all other kinds of like offensive abilities there's one guy who's kind of like got this bubble shield who's but he's huge the actual physical character's huge mm -hmm. and you can shoot him from any Miles distance because he's so massive yeah <laughs> even i managed to snipe someone playing it and my my range skill is terrible it's very focused it's obviously from what you've just explained there, it's, they're pushing very much for team-based strategy it's yeah close quarters it's it's like the game's best when you're playing mid uh close to mid range mm. so you like the movement's fluid like in all br games you can put your weapons away to run like a percentile faster in this you put your guns away you're like fucking <laughs> <laughs> spider-man <laughs> oh. yeah you're like <laughs> up walls and stuff it's really really mixed like and you can infinitely slide down hills really i really am enjoying the game quite a lot so like and a... a lot of other people are it kind of came out as a surprise as well because there were yep. there was rumors out there that basically they were going to drop a, a battle royale game at some point. Uh, I think it was like a week before that. There was a few uh, Twitch popular Twitch streamers who had, yeah. had, had so like, said they'd been out and tested it or played it or something like that. Shroud, yeah, they got Shroud. He's partnered up with them. So yeah, so uh, he's been there was them certainly a lot of rumors in the industry that something was going to be dropped, but it wasn't only announced; it was instantly released as well. Yeah, they just were like, we don't need to like brag about it they, mm -hmm. we're just going to throw it out there and be like let the game speak for itself mm -hmm. and it has i think and it's free to play so uh what's the sort of so i'm presuming there's a, a pay payment system involved so is it is it similar to the other battle royals where you, you pay it for a season yeah so at the moment there's no like battle pass or anything like that at the moment there will be they've confirmed that um but there is obviously a premium currency where you can buy the apex packs which are the loot boxes essentially yep um and you can also buy the there's two legends that aren't unlocked with the game mm -hmm. so the legends are the characters that you play as mm -hmm. um, but those legends can be earned within game as well uh, rewards yeah so as you level up you get 600 of the legendary coins and i think i'm at level 20 something and i got I got enough to get one of the characters. You needed twelve thousand. Oh, so, so how, how so many I'm hours unlocked. have you put into it then to get to level twenty? I have played it. Well, when was it released? Uh, Monday. Last. Was it Monday? Tuesday? This Monday. Last last. It was either last Monday or last Tuesday. I can't remember. I played it a fair amount on Sunday, and peppered between throughout the week. So not crazy. Uh, I don't know how many hours. I don't know if I can check my play time to be honest, but not. Not crazy amount, and it, you know that you've managed to get to that point that you can actually unlock one of the characters, well, legend, legend, 
people. Um, who yeah, are in... and you get like leveling up, like so you get XP for obviously doing the matches, mm -hmm. but you get more XP for just surviving till the end. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really matter. Like I watched Shroud play, and he got twenty plus kills, still only got about four thousand XP. Uh, sorry, you got about 6,000 XP. Mm -hmm. If you just get to the end of the game, you'll get about 5k. Oh, right. So it kills it and stuff aren't then, really... Rewarding people who yeah. might not necessarily win. When you... Yeah, and when you bring two friends in, mm -hmm. into your squad, so if you play with friends, you get 10% extra XP as well for survival XP. So right. for getting to the end. So they basically want you to stay in the game with your friends as long as possible. So when you say, like, getting to the end, like, obviously, uh, with Bullet Battle Royale yeah. games, you obviously... It ends when all the other teams are killed off. How how can you survive to the end without actually winning? Just don't run into people. So just, <laughs> Avoid. Like, so like, but how do you mean like get to the end? Does it mean like last two teams? As in the the amount of time you're alive. So the longer right. you're alive, the better you are. So obviously, instead of say you spot a guy and you're like, oh, I'm gonna shoot him, even though he's like three thousand million yards mm -hmm. away. Just ignore them. Mm -hmm. Don't fight them if you don't need to. That kind of mentality is about surviving. So Trust. get to the end, gear up, and then take people, like keep an eye on them, mm -hmm. and then jump them at the end. So I'll just basically try and being... get as far into the game as possible as you can. Gotcha. Yeah, that's the best strategy so far. Like, it's, it's, it's confirmed by almost everyone. You just need to get to the end. You don't even need to kill anybody. Right. If but, you are teammates, kill uh, some people. I have seen that Respawn are uh, looking to doing an update which will actually include solos and dual play. Uh, yeah, I don't as well see why they would. The three player uh, setup. Uh, do you think they'll actually expand it so then there'll be larger teams so other than three? I'd like I to think so. I'd like, know, to, I'd like yeah. it to go to like six mm. because there's not many games that are, that are allowed for six players. Five tends to be the max in a lot of things. I would very much, apart from Overwatch, I would very much like to try and play some more six player games with friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could do more of a focused sort of like they could make it like a smaller area mm -hmm. with like yeah, six teams have... and it'd be super intense. Yeah, you could have five teams of six or something. Make you respawn or something. So that's available over on PC, PlayStation Four, and Xbox One, and it is free to play as well, um, yep. which has certainly helped it along the initial stages. Uh, so it would be interesting. That's how Fortnite got so big. Yeah. And it'll be interesting to see how well it gets picked up going forward because it's done massively well obviously within its first week um let's mm. see what happens as time goes on uh, i think it's certainly gonna have to obviously i'm sure they will they'll have a roadmap of what updates they're going to be doing and things like that hopefully we'll, well get I've got on as well for this thursday for this week in battle royale uh which i'm sure we'll be discussing it again a little bit more as well and hopefully i, I haven't actually played it yet tom's playing it next to me for the first time on the playstation 4 so this is like my initial first stage i've just been so busy i haven't been able to get on it but um i'm looking forward to having a, i like the art style of it like I said, it is very call of duty but then when you look at some of the guns when you uh tom was looking and choosing things like that they had did have like a little style which resembled a little bit like borderlands i thought um like the color schemes and things like that look quite cool mm, um, yeah the skins some of the skins are really cool and they do make it borderlands you get some like block colors like just pink or whatever and that makes it look quite cell shaded it seems which to is what board really runs. well i'm like well, obviously, obviously this is on the playstation that you're seeing now <laughs> but it is it does look really really good how are you finding tom yeah it's very smooth very smooth you, um you don't play yeah, a lot it's quite of battle royale games though do you um no no are you enjoying it yeah no it's, it's good I like, I like fighting for he's doing all right isn't he was he got one kill is that i can't see two uh yeah he's got two nice six squads left Hey, we could have a winner. You say, watch this. <laughs> That'll be good on the show. Uh, let us it's know really not that difficult. Um, what do you think to Apex Legends? Have you tried it? Are you looking forward to giving it a go? Uh, just still looking through the comments down in Twitch. Uh, v God Light. Hello, thank you for joining us. Who are these sexy people? I'm Roger. That's. Oh, uh, we got Victor. We got Charles. Is uh, Luke down there? Uh, we usually have James with us, but he's not with us tonight. I've left the fourth window up just in case he decides to pop in, but. Uh, no worries if not. Uh, Jan is handling the chat over on Twitch. Uh, she's the moderator who joined last week. She's been with us right from the start. She's amazing. So everybody say hello to Jana. Love you, darling. Thank Hi, you Yana. so much for for being a moderator on Always Games TV. Uh, right, so moving over onto our second, second topic of the show with the Division 2 close beta, which happened over the weekend. Now... It's going to be a role reversal compared to the last topic. Um, you guys haven't played this. <laughs> no, I, did, so. I have no idea. So I uh, think Jim had Jim had a key for it, but he didn't mm. didn't use it. Well, that's reason. why I thought you guys had played it because I saw up on 
your Discord channel, Luke, that uh, you had some keys and you were giving them away or something. So I presume I saw somebody giving some away or something. Jim like that. probably was. Uh, yeah, I didn't know anything. If, if he had told me earlier, I would probably took one. <laughs> I was going to say, if he told me, I would have taken one. I've taken it for free. I'm not paying yeah. for it. <laughs> yeah. But um, so yeah, so it was basically it was a closed beta for everybody who had pre-ordered it or had uh, signed up to the website over on Ubisoft, and they send out some keys as well. So if you haven't played uh, The Division before. Basically, it's very similar to Anthem, which we spoke about last week, where it is basically a loot-based shooter. Um, you mean, I think it's up to teams of either three or four, and you go around, shoot a lot of uh, NPCs, they drop loot, you pick it up, put it on you, you get slightly better. Basically, that is the gameplay. Uh, it's very straightforward. The story, if you've ever played a Tom Clancy game before, such as Wildlands or possibly Splinter Cell, it's that sort of gritty, like I'd say, special forces sort of style of story. Um, well, the they're first... sleeper agents. Yeah, so this was, the first game was based in New York City where a virus had broken out on Black Friday and it, it killed off a lot of people. They'd basically locked it down and you were going into solves a, a particular mission i can't really remember the story of it but uh, basically you have to go s sort some stuff out and try and handle the people who are still alive and handling the situation within the city a lot of people have gone a little bit let's say feral they would basically turned against each yeah. other and were gathering resources killing off other people and everything like that now this has followed a very similar path so it's set in washington dc um it looks as if after the first game, the virus didn't actually stay in New York. It spread further out and pretty much covered the globe by the sounds of it. Mm. And again, looks like uh, the the whole society has crumbled down. Uh, there's still p good people out there who are trying to survive. A lot of uh, like the military has gathered together to try and look after people and uh, civilians. And then there's a lot of people who there's lot of big groups who are basically killing other people just trying to survive themselves. Now, the gameplay is spread out a little bit more compared to the first one. There's a lot more to do with side missions. And, well, so I had side missions before on the map, but they're a lot more yeah. in-depth now. So, like, before well, you'd cool. get a side mission on the map and it'd say, go here and solve this mission. It'd be like, go open a box or something like that, and that'd be it. Mm. Well, uh, one of the examples that I can say is that I went to a side mission, and it had, like, multiple stages. So I'd enter the area. There'd be, like, a wave of enemies. I'd kill them. But then it would actually say, right, you need to get to the roof because son so and so's here and he's got a... You'd see him like briefly in the background, but before you could start shooting, he'd disappear up in the elevator. Uh, I'd chase him, go up to the roof, and there'd be like a lockdown of some sort because they'd trap me in there. I'd kill off a lot of more wave. It was very wave-based with the enemies. Uh, once you set one going, another one would come sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and then there'd be like a main boss who would have loads of armor on. You'd take him down. Then you'd serve some civilians. And that's just a side quest, which like just a little, little mission on the map. And so it had multiple stages and a lot more in-depth compared to the first game so that was all that was good i only put about three or four hours into it so my time with it was fairly limited um but to be honest for what i played i really enjoyed it the actual gameplay itself was really good fun uh, if you played the first one and you enjoyed the first one you'll thoroughly enjoy this uh, mm -hmm. there's certain aspects of it which were a little bit samey i thought the it kind of forces you in the division to do it's more of a cover based shooter so if you start free walking it and just shooting away merrily you're probably yeah. going to get taken down you have to yeah. use the cover which i think limits the gameplay a little bit i think it's sort of if you if you're into getting really into the action and really just want to go for it you're going to struggle like just walking straight into a gunfight you're going to have to sort of move up slowly. Um, there's that ability where you can use the shield so i guess that kind of yeah is for that i guess there's, there's that one it's just i don't know it's, it's, it, I thought they might have developed a little bit further on with that. Uh, I just thought, it just, again, when I started playing, I was a bit, eh. Mm. Very safe. Did you go in the Dark Zone at all? Uh, no, I didn't. No, so basically what they're doing with the Dark Zone, before in the first one, they had one Dark Zone. Well, apparently yeah. in this new one, they're going to have three. three. Um, mm. And they've changed it up to be a slightly level based as well i think as far as i'm aware oh, really? I, 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 I could be wrong on that uh, but they're changing it up and the, apparently the developers are focusing a lot more on end game content because that was one of the problems with the first game was that you'd play kind of like the main story and then there was like a massive drop off of a player base because they realized there was there nothing to, a lot do. to do no. yeah and there were updates that went along one of the best there was good updates. support at the end afterwards yeah, eventually they got around to release some decent 
expansions yeah. for it like the best one on um the first game was the survival mode which was mm. when you look back and i did a live stream of this actually a few months ago and it's kind of like an early stage of battle royale i guess the best way yeah. to put it um but one of the key components of that was the weather because it was set it, it was still winter time it just christmas has either just happened or was just happening when everything happened so it was extremely cold and you had to battle storms and snow blizzards and everything like that there's none of that in this game it's all very sunny which i said to you Luke, before we went live which was quite yeah. weird is the christmas decorations are up there's like giant box presents in certain places but everything like, like everything looks a little bit run down like there's grass growing up and stuff but like the props of the decorations seemed very clean and really weird like yeah, it was it's strange, isn't it? yeah it was really straight like it like it was clearly it's set in the summer or in at some point near which is a lot hotter than the winter <clears throat> and everything just it's obviously uh, quite a bit of time had passed yet there was these giant presents like I, it almost looks you could run up to them and then just explode and confetti would come out of it and you'd get like a, a loot drop or something that's how weirdly sort of clean they were like as if they'd just put them yeah in it drop seemed out of place yeah um but other than that it was really I, I thoroughly enjoyed it i'd want to get more time to play it i'm i think i'm i'm look i was looking forward to the division two more than anthem um oh really to be totally honest yeah anthem i thoroughly enjoyed the beta uh, but i was like I kept, I kept saying to a few of my friends well i just want to see what division two is like because they're going to be very similar style of games really that's their like loot based shooting um yeah I don't know which ones because the uh, Division Two didn't blow me away, and neither did Anthem. To be absolutely honest, I enjoyed them. Yeah, but I was going to say this sounds similar to like our reaction to Anthem mm. is how yeah. you, you like you enjoyed elements of it, mm -hmm. but overall you did you weren't blown away by. Yeah, it. you've kind of seen it all before. Really, that's what you? I mean. Well, it, it, Division One, I heard, was super tissue thin anyway. Like you, it, it's all cover based shooting, repeated missions. There's maybe yep. three variants of mission, or the Dark Zone. And if they're just doing that, but with three of the dark zones, that's just adding more. That's just the same. <laughs> that's yeah. just the yeah. same thing, but times three. Like like the, 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 the side missions looks like they've sort of created multiple layers to them. So there's like it's not just do one thing and that's it. It was like do one thing, move on to the next. Bye, thing, Luke. Next thing. Bye, Luke. Hey, bye. Thanks for coming. Um, but it, so that that was good that they'd sort of developed that. But I don't. I I hadn't put enough hours in to say that is that repeated then. You know, at some point, is it going to be the same mission? It's going to be repeated. Um, the one thing that I did sort of make note of was the gameplay for the enemies entering the room very much reminded me of Uncharted 1. So one of the problems which... Uncharted 1 was... I loved Uncharted 1, but the, one of the issues with it was if you go and play Uncharted 2 and then go back to 1, you see its flaws. And one of the issues was that you'd go through like a little bit of a scenario and then you'd open out into a large area, which would yeah. then be the arena. And then sure yeah. enough, one enemy you'd shoot and then you'd kill them and another row of enemies would sort of come in through like the gaps in the wall or like the doorways and then you'd kill them and then some more come through the doorways, the same ones as before. And it, it's kind of like an old gameplay mechanic, which is sort of is a bit lazy a little bit for yeah. enemies like just because it's wave based. And that's kind of what the missions were constantly. Like, you'd enter a room, it'd be quite a large room, and you just knew, oh, this is going to be a wave moment. And sure enough, the enemies would come in, kill them, next way. And that was starting, even after three or four hours, did start to get a little bit tedious. Oh, um, really? So that's, that, that wasn't great. But the, I, I did enjoy the loot aspect of it because I'm a massive... I love Diablo and things like that. So like getting like, oh, it's a new jacket. It's like things like that was great. So you're constantly seeing that upgrade. And then it would affect how your character looked, which was good. But I'm... It's almost like the looting's the focus of the gameplay. Yeah. Not really the and looting. That's my concern. I didn't really get a full grasp of the story either. But uh on a uh, live stream uh, one of the devs uh, was chatting to a couple of people and, and on the actual live stream he did say by a slip of the tongue don't worry about that bug it'll be removed for the open beta and then it suddenly went quiet so basically <laughs> they haven't announced an open beta but it looks like they've got one in the works so uh, hopefully I mean, with that a lot sense. more people can get the teeth into it and hopefully i can get my teeth into it a little bit more but after this closed beta i'm not rushing to pre-order it See, was there server issues with this? 
Was there I, any server issues? I admittedly, I didn't ha I didn't experience any server issues. Because I, I want to bring it back to Apex just for a second, right? Apex launched, okay, without any betas, none of this bullshit beforehand. Yeah, it's finished. It's not an it's not an early access game, but the servers work straight away. Okay, they were ready for everything. Okay, and then you've got you got Anthem, who's got EA behind them. Obviously, so is um, Apex. To be to be fair, but um, uh, sorry, it's on Origin. Um, and this, and obviously Ubisoft is doing the other one. Mm -hmm. And like all of these huge companies never seem to have their servers working. Tell you what, like even Destiny, Division two, Bungie didn't have, and had Activision. Division 2 did yeah, load it up. There you go, and it just worked. Like Th There was a queue. Every time you loaded up Division 2 beta, you had to wait. Like, I've got something, it took ages to fucking load. It took ages. And then you would be put into a queue of 100. And it would then count down to then when you could. I mean that, it. yeah. I mean that's maybe just because obviously they might have like one server on for the beta or whatever. Mm. But I don't know. They just and then even when the game launches, like they're just like, oh yeah, well, you know, people. Well, what was the beta for? Surely that was to get numbers. It, You've got pre-orders. It's certainly not you? for selling it. I can tell you that because I, because yeah. I walked away from going. Eh, like, oh, and the one issue that really did sort of like, oh, yeah, you need to get this sorted out for well, one for launch, but also if you do an open beta, was that the textures took ages to load. Maybe it was just yeah. on PlayStation so just, Four, but at, at one point, like, it, imagine, uh, you remember, I am Legend with Will Smith, where you see the deers and stuff like that running around. Well, it's a bit like that, like with the grass overgrowing and stuff like that here and there in the middle of the the roads and stuff. Well, there's a deer ran onto the screen, and it was like as if it was being done for a an artistic styled game with sharp edges. Because it was literally like <laughs> pixelated, and it was like all like its head was like a a point with a block on the end, and it was prancing along. So I shot it, and then <laughs> once it went down, as you do, I wait to have a look at it. So um, it went down, and then I walked up to it, still like a mass of angles, and then literally stood, looked at it, and I was about a meter away from it, and I looked at it for a good thirty seconds, waiting for the textures to pop, and eventually it loaded. It looked mm. like a deer, and I was like. That's not good. That's <laughs> not good at all. Maybe it may have just been me. Maybe I could have been experiencing a bug. But then after about 20 minutes of gameplay, it's like as if everything fin finally caught up with me and yeah. everything was loading fine. But that, that was not good. And it didn't just do it I once. It did two or three times. So that wasn't good. That wasn't good, I have to admit. But let us know down in the comments if you've experienced The Division 2. Um, and will you be interested in picking it up or interested in trying the open beta? Out of curiosity, Ed, why didn't you play the Division One? Uh, but I, I basically got a free code for it with my, with the Game Hog computer that we bought at work, mm -hmm. and we got a free code of it. So I installed it on my computer, and just went. I, I played it for five minutes and went. I'm not. I'm not doing this. I'm not <laughs> grinding through this game to get <laughs> more loot to grind with. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not letting myself get sucked in. And I'm glad I didn't because it's just a more tissue thin version of Destiny, but with third person cover based shooting, or at least that's how it came across to me. Mm. I don't need that in my life. I don't want to play Division Two, <laughs> so I have. I, yeah, that's why I haven't bothered with this one. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll surprise me. But if I get a code for free, I'll probably play it. But I I'm not think, paying for it. Like <laughs> if this game, had, like well, the, the Division One came out. I was that was I was at a different point of my life when that came out, so I had mm. the time to do it. Yeah. Now. I seriously don't have the time to play games, unfortunately, like Anthem and Division 2. Just like you said, that grind for better gear, going back in, right, right we're going to do this raid tonight because... There's a, but I'm knowing there's no payoff, ultimately. Mm. like that That's the problem with these games. Like Destiny as well. Like I liked playing Destiny, especially with like Luke and James and stuff. Like That was really mm. fun, us all playing together. But there's no point. There's no end goal. Especially when they bring out a new DLC, which completely makes everything you've just grinded it, yeah, for it irrelevant. Yeah, it supersedes everything. Yeah, it's just, like, that's all fun? shit. Yeah. yeah. It's basically that was a bit down MMO, enough. in all honesty. It's a watered down yeah. MMO. And it, I, I certainly, in my point in my life, that currently I don't have the time to be able to play games like that anymore. I might do eventually when I retire. Um, I either win the lottery or something, that'd be good. Uh, I made the mistake <laughs> of buying Persona 5 on the PS4 for a tenner in the sale. I'm never yeah. going to get a chance to play the fucking 80-hour campaign of Persona 5. No, I started man. it the other night. I played it for like an hour. I didn't do shit. Like, <laughs> it was just the beginning of the story. I met my new dad, 
who then basically goes, you're a dick and I hate you. Here's the <laughs> school you're going to. They think you're a dick as well. Now fuck off and go to bed. And I went, <laughs> all right, save, quit. <laughs> <laughs> now, will you be reviewing that one for the BBC, really? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nostalgia review. Like, I'm a bit late to the game on this one, but Persona 5, not feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> very, that was very depressing, to be absolutely honest. Yeah, uh, exactly, yeah. But yeah, that's uh, Division 2 beta. Let us know down in the comments if you're going to be playing it. Or, like I said, I'm sure I'll come back to it once we've played a little bit more of the open beta, if it's happening. Uh, but right at this present moment... Yeah, I'll give the open one a go, definitely. I'm certainly not going to pre-order it just yet, but we'll see what happens. Uh, and that takes us to the end of our topics for the show. So keep what it nice up? and quiet. Now, a couple of topics. Um, but yeah, so I've kind of been a rush to prepare for this show. So that's why it was kind of like, Apex Legends, great. Division 2, great. <laughs> Done. There's not really an awful lot more to discuss. No. In game. Not till the end of the week, which is when I Anthem drops and Crackdown 3 drops and a load of other games all seem to come out on February. Now, I've reason. been asked to review Crackdown 3 for the Beeb, but I don't have an Xbox. Uh, oh, it's out on PC as well. Oh, is it? Whew, yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Um, I doubt. I doubt you're going to. I might have it. to. I might have to get Anthem as well. Although if it's on premium, I'll fuck it. I'll just pay that twenty quid. I'm one. doing that. Yeah, just because I think we're going to play it for a bit and then kind of go. Eh, yeah, other shit I'd rather do. pay twenty quid for it for a month. I think I'll probably get a month's worth I of wish game that out. Was When's the new on PlayStation? Because I would do that. <laughs> yeah. It's I'm playing Dark Siders Three on the. Um, I the saw you thing. playing that. How is it? They've took it in a. Have you played any of the others of either of you? Yeah, I played both of them. Yeah, so they've took this one in a Dark Soulsy way, where Fury, which is who you play as, I think her name's Fury. She, it is. It's more like time your dodge, then strike, that kind of deal. It's it, it's, it's it's not bad actually. I'm getting drawn into it actually. Fair enough. So, yeah, I did enjoy the first two, but the the first one was very Zelda Metroidy, where you had to go get this this grappling hook so you could climb up this wall. That kind of hmm. loop uh, gear gating, which I quite like in games, to be fair. So how much yeah, is it for a month it. then? For... Well, I've just looked up. So monthly, it is fourteen ninety nine. However, it is ninety pounds if a you year. do it via um, a year, which basically makes it seven pounds fifty a month. So it's half price if you just buy the ninety quid annual pass. Not bad and and either. and you've got Battlefield Five on there. You've I mean, there's quite a lot Madden, of games to FIFA nineteen. I would say it's a very good value for money. Yana yeah. says, are we already in the post-show talk? Not yet, Yana. We, 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 we're starting to step that way. <laughs> and this is the Police 2 access. Battlefield, Sims. There's loads of things. Loads of stuff. Just classic It's actually game. more worth it than buying any one of those games. Yes. That's what annoyed me. Which it needs is... to come over to PlayStation because it's just... I, I'm, not, I'm not... Currently, again, how I'm feeling about Anthem, I'm not rushing to go buy it, but if they did the... But you'll pay 15 quid to play it for a month. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I wish I did that with Sea of Thieves. Yeah, I wish I'd have done that as well. Uh, I'm actually... I wish I could go back into Sea of Thieves. I do think Sea of Thieves is a fun game. Well, we should arrange a time to go back. Please we do. should. I'd happily go back and, like... Langley just, keeps yeah. telling me to go back in there. I want to go yeah. back and play, but I've got no one to play with. But if you guys have got it, then I'll play with you guys. That is cross-play, yeah. I believe, isn't it? Uh, I've got it on PC. Oh, you have it on PC. Oh, but okay. also, yes, it's cross-play with yeah. Xbox, because yeah, my brother and um, I used to play. Yes, obviously, if you, if you do get that on Game Plus or whatever it's called, it will work on PC as well, won't it? So... Yeah. Uh, right, guys. Well, that takes us to the end of the main show. Obviously, if you're watching live over on Facebook, YouTube, or on Twitch, we're going to start the post show in just a few moments' time. Uh, but if you're watching our edited version over on YouTube, which comes out a couple of days after our live show, come and join us on our live show. It's a lot more fun. <laughs> you can interact with us a lot more as well. Uh, but a big thank you to Ed from GameHog for joining us once again. Thank uh, you very much for having me. Sporting the, the merch I can see there. Doubling today. <laughs> doubling, doubling. That hat is, is a really nice hat. hat. That is a nice hat. You're Thank glowing, you. This is actually. one of the pink ones. This is the pink one for Jim. Oh, okay. that's sharp. Very sharp. Luke, mm. always a pleasure, sir. Thank you very, very much. Great fun as always. Thank oh, you for having me. Oh, yes. And a big thank you for Tom for playing Apex Legends. Thanks, Hi, Tom. Tom. Have, have you won one you yet? You suck. <laughs> you killed some people. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much, and we will see you next week, 8 p.m. UK time on every Monday over on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you could follow us on Twitch, that would be absolutely amazing. Get us up to 50 followers. That'd be great. Fantastic. <laughs> anyway, guys, see you next week. Bye, dude.